Welcome back to the Black Metal promo. Today we will cover the history of symphonic black metal band, Demu Borger. Before starting, if you are new to this channel and you are crazy about black metal, make sure to like this video, and subscribe to this channel, let's get started. We have been spellbound! Demu Borger is a Norwegian symphonic black metal band from Jesheim, formed in 1993. Demu Borger, the band's name, is a place in northern Iceland, where local legends purport that it is an entrance or gate to hell. In Icelandic Demu, is an adjective that means dark, and Borger, is the plural of Borg which can mean city, town, castle, rocky hill, or shelter. The band was founded by Shagrath, Silenaz, and T. Jodelv in 1993. Soon after, Brinjard Tristan joined to play bass, and Stian Arstad played keyboards. They are musically inspired by 80s black metal and heavy metal like Dark Throne, Mayhem, Bathory, Emperor, Celtic Frost, Immortal, Venom, and Iron Maiden. Their lyrics revolved around Satanism, anti-Christianity, death, misanthropy, and occultism. Their success can be measured by bands like Emperor, Creator, and Cradle of Filth. There is no doubt in my mind that early Demu Borger is the best black metal band in the world, because when I discovered them, I was fucking crazy about them especially Shagrath vocals. Demu Borger began their career by releasing a 7 EP entitled In I Evigatans Mork, into the Eternity of Darkness, on Necromantic Gallery Productions in 1994. This short EP sold out within weeks, and the band followed up with the 1994 full-length album for all TID, for all time in English. It starts with a long, but very soothing and calming intro. This album features the vocals of Vikatnik of VED Bunes and Dedamesgard and Aldron of Dedamesgard and Zaklan B. It is the band's only studio album on which Shagrath is on drums, T. Jodelv on guitar and Silenaz on vocals. It was remastered and re-released in 1997 through their new label Nuclear Blast with the front cover art in full color, and the entire In I Evigatans Mork EP added. All tracks are written by Shagrath, Silenaz, and Aldron. Line up for this album. Shagrath drums, back vocals, guitars, additional, track 5. Urkak Jeter Silenaz guitars, vocals, lead, lyrics, songwriter. T. Jodelv guitars, drums, track 5. Brinjard Tristan bass. Stian Arstad keyboards, piano, effects. Vikatnik, vocals, backing. Drag all drawn back vocals, lead vocals, track 3. Track on this album are. 1. Detnai Riket, The New Kingdom. 2. Under Corpens Vinger, Under the Wings of the Raven. 3. Over Blend Blanner Till Domadeg, Over Pale Horizons Unto Judgment Day. 4. Stein, The Path. 5. Glitter Tint, Glitter Tint. 6. For All Tid, For All Time. 7. Hunter Kong and Sorgsvarte Furt Over Stepany, The Hunnic King's Sorrow Black Journey Across the Steps. 8. Rabhorn Spiler Drafemin Scott A. Rabhorn reflects the mist of Drafemin. 9. Dengemt San Hetz Hersker, the ruler of the hidden truth. In 1996 they released one of the most important albums in black metal history, Stormblast, on a new label. Cacophonous Record. This album showed that Demu Borger was one of the best symphonic black metal band's mature songwriter, with a good variance of tempos, with strong classical influence. This is also the last album on which all lyrics are written and sung in Norwegian. After this, all songs will be in English. The main reason was that the majority of the audience did not understand the lyrics, and so Demu Borger wanted to use a popular language, to communicate their message to reach a broader audience. This is the first album by the band The Where, T. Jodolf switched to drums as opposed to guitar, the first where Shagrath is on vocals, and the last where lyrics would be written by Aldron, of De Damesgard and V.E.D. Bunes and, until 2003's Death Cult Armageddon, 
and the last album to feature Brinjard Tristan on bass guitar. According to All Music's review, those looking for a more visceral sound may be disappointed with the long, melancholy piano instrumentals, too many mid-paced tempos, and excess gothic synthesizer mush. The instrumental Sorgan's Kammer from the album could not be re-recorded, due to copyright issues associated with the 1992 Amiga game, Agony, since Stian Arstad claimed it as his own. Similarly, for the intro to Altlis er Svunit Hen, Arstad used parts from the Magnum song, Sacred Hour, for this reason, the intro is not part of the song on this re-recorded version. Track on this album are 1. Altlis er Svunit Hen, All Light Has Faded Away 2. Broderscapet's Ring, The Ring of Brotherhood 3. Nar Shalen Hence Till Helvet, When the Soul Is Brought to Hell 4. Sorgan's Kammer, Del 2, The Chamber of Sorrow, Part 2 5. De Den Christni Sat Live at Till, When the Christian Lost His Life 6. Stormblast, Stormblown 7. Dodds Fared, Journey of Death 8. Antichrist, Antichrist 9. Vinderfrat and Ensom Grav, Winds from a Lonely Grave 10. Goods for Taples, Appenbaring A.V. Domadeg, God's Perdition, Revelation of Judgment Day 11. Of Max Slave, Slave of Impotency or Powerlessness After Stormblast, keyboardist Stian Arstad left the band due to his obligation to serve in the Norwegian Army. Thus being unable to participate in the 1996 recording of EP Devil's Path. That period was also marked by the departure of bassist Brinjard Tristan and the arrival of Nagash. Stian Arstad returned for the recording of 1997's In Throne Darkness Triumphant. In Throne Darkness Triumphant was released on May 30, 1997 through Nuclear Blast. It was the band's first release through Nuclear Blast. This is the last release to feature keyboardist Stian Arstad and the first with bassist Nagash. The album has been released on many formats, including a limited edition vinyl, 300 white and 1000 black. In 2002, a deluxe CD version was released with bonus material. In Throne Darkness Triumphant was also the band's first album to display their second logo, though the old black metal logo is seen in the back cover artwork on the original printing. Due to concerns from Nuclear Blast, the lyrics of Tormentor of Christian Souls were omitted from the disc's liner note as Master of Disharmony. All Music praised the album writing, one of the most important Scandinavian metal discs ever, Demu Borger's In Throne Darkness Triumphant is the group's unquestioned masterpiece. In 2005, In Throne Darkness Triumphant was ranked number 298, in Rock Hard Magazine's book of the 500 greatest rock and metal albums of all time. In 2020, it was named one of the 20 best metal albums of 1997 by Metal Hammer magazine. In 2021, the magazine ranked it as the seventh best symphonic metal album of all time. Some critics have criticized the album. According to Death Metal Underground, it is a ripoff of bands that were new when these musicians were born, noting that it lacks a sense of theme and is more like a pop album with heavy metal riffs that fails to incorporate the neoclassical orchestration that made Stormblast brilliant. Track on this album are 1. Morning Palace 2. Spellbound, By the Devil, This is My Personal Favorite 3. In Death's Embrace 4. Relinquishment of Spirit and Flesh 5. The Night Masquerade 6. Tormentor of Christian Souls 7. Entrance 8. Master of Disharmony 9. Prudence's Fall. 10. A Succubus in Rapture. 11. Rabhorn Spiler Drafemin Scott A. Rabhorn reflects the mist of Drafemin. After the release of Enthrone Darkness Triumphant, the band went on tour with In Flames, Dissection and other bands who were prominent in the scene at the time. After the tour the band recruited new members Mustis on keyboards, and Asanu on lead guitar, released fourth studio album Spiritual Black Dimensions via Nuclear Blast Records. This release featured keyboardist Mustis and the clean vocals of ICS Vortex, as well as the departure of longtime drummer T. Jodolv, guitarist Asanu, and bassist Nagash. 
The album cover was part of the top 10 of greatest heavy metal album covers by Blender magazine. It was inspired by The Wounded Angel, a painting by Finnish painter Hugo Simberg. The album got positive and negative review by critics. According to Steve Huey of All Music stated that, Demu Borger's arrangements continue to increase in complexity and sophistication on spiritual black dimensions, improving on its predecessors and illustrating the band's musical progression. In Slayer No. 13, John Metalion Christensen called spiritual black dimensions a fine case of melodic, overproduced symphonic metal. If you like this melodic style I can't really think of anyone doing it better. But, I wouldn't call this black metal. Read the interview with Funeral Mist for the right definition of black metal. Line up for this album. Shagrath, lead vocals. Silenaz, rhythm guitar. Asanu, lead guitar. Nagish, bass guitar, backing vocals. T. Jodolv, drums. Mustis, keyboards. Track on this album are One Reptile. Two Behind the Curtains of Night, Phantasmagoria. Three Dreamside Dominions. Four United in Unhallowed Grace. Five The Promised Future Eons. Six The Blazing Monoliths of Defiance. Seven The Insight and the Catharsis. Eight Grotesquery Concealed, Within Measureless Magic. Nine Arcane Life Force Mysteria. In 2001 band released their fifth studio album, Puritanical Euphoric Misanthropia, via Nuclear Blast Records. This is the first album to feature drummer Nicholas Parker, guitarist Galder, and ICS Vortex on bass. It is also the first album upon which, the band used real orchestral instrumentation instead of keyboard lines. There are some truly killer songs on this album like Blessings Upon the Throne of Tyranny has to be one of the most aggressive and precise songs, with both guitars complement each other perfectly to achieve this effect. And King of the Carnival Creation is the next song, and it is also well written and catchy track. ICS Vortex's vocals come off strong in hybrid stigmata, the apostas. Demu Borger have won the Norwegian Grammy Award 2001, within the category metal for their masterpiece Puritanical Euphoric Misanthropia. Besides Demu Borger Emperor and Borknagar were nominated for the award. Track on this album are One Fear and Wonder Two Blessings Upon the Throne of Tyranny Three Kings of the Carnival Creation Four Hybrid Stigmata, The Apostasy Five Architecture of a Genocidal Nature Six Puritania Seven Indoctrination Eight The Maelstrom Mephisto 9. Absolute Soul Right. 10. Symposium. 11. Perfection or Vanity. In 2003 band released their sixth studio album Death Cult Armageddon. This album sold over 100,000 copies in the United States, the first album under Nuclear Blast to do so, and debuted on the Billboard, at number 169. The song Progenies of the Great Apocalypse was released as a single with an accompanying music video. This would also be the last album to have Nicholas Barker on drums. On this album the band focused to put more emphasis on the symphonic elements, for the recording of this album, they made use of the Prague Philharmonic Orchestra, a 72 pieces ensemble, that made it possible for Demu Borger to bring their evolution to the next level. Guitarist Silena state that, the new Demu Borger album has been a hard and long fucking road to hell, and Death Cult Armageddon is what we're bringing back. With that we're pleased to announce that this will be considered our most epic, majestic, somber, evil and grimmest release to date, containing absolutely everything we're known for the never-ending presence of atmosphere, diversity, and variety. In other words, it's huge. Darkness is once again upon us. Track on this album are One Allegiance Two Progenies of the Great Apocalypse. Three Lepers Among Us. Four Verdes Bird. Five For the World to Dictate Our Death. Six Blood Hunger Doctrine. Seven Alehelgens. I Helvids Reich. Eight Cataclysm Children. Nine Eradication Instincts Defined. Ten Unorthodox Manifesto. In 2005, 
the band did a complete re-recording of the Stormblast album, featuring Hellhammer of Mayhem fame as the session drummer. The album also featured a DVD with a live performance from the 2004 Ozfest tour. On April 24, 2007 band released their eighth studio album In Sort Diaboli. A special edition of In Sort Diaboli, version was released in a boxed case with a DVD, backward printed lyrics, and a mirror. The album artwork was released on February 14, 2007 on a promotional web page for the album. This album features once more the drumming of Hellhammer of Mayhem, In Sort Diaboli, Latin mean in league with the devil, the album sold approximately 14,000 copies in its first week. The album also sold well in Sweden, Finland, Austria, and Switzerland. This is the band's first concept album, with a story located in medieval Europe. It is about a priest who begins to doubt his faith, and then ends up taking the place of the Antichrist. There's this dude that works as a priest's assistant, and after a while he just discovers that he has nothing to do with Christianity, Silenas says. He just sort of has this awakening and realizes that he has different abilities, and different powers and is leaning more to the dark side. The words in Sort Diaboli are a repeated line in the song The Chosen Legacy, and the words also appears towards the end of the song, The Sinister Awakening. The conclusion of the story in the booklet implies that the story of In Sort Diaboli is not yet finished. This remains to be seen, as their next album, Abrahadabra, is heavily influenced by Aleister Crowley's, Thelema text The Book of the Law. IGN ranked the album the top metal album of 2007. They rated the album cover as 25 creepiest heavy metal album covers. With the release of this album, Dimu Borger became the first black metal band with a number one album on the charts in their native country. In October 2008, they released their second live DVD set titled, The Invaluable Darkness, which was based on several shows during the world tour supporting In Sort Diaboli. Track on this album are 1. The Serpentine Offering 2. The Chosen Legacy 3. The Conspiracy Unfolds 4. The Sacrilegious Scorn 5. The Fallen Arises, Instrumental 6. The Sinister Awakening 7. The Fundamental Alienation 8. The Invaluable Darkness 9. The Foreshadowing Furnace In 2009, band members ICS Vortex and Mustis have left independently. A statement issued by Mustis claims he disfavors the band, claiming he has not been properly credited for his contributions to its music. He also mentions he might take legal action. As soon as the dismissals were confirmed, Dimu Borger released a statement explaining its reasoning Shagrath, Silenas, and Galder wrote, Funny then, how the new album is halfway finished written already by the rest of us without any of these guys' input, still having all those elements we're known for. Many fans were quite disappointed, however, without the composition of Mustis, and soaring signature voice of ICS Vortex. Dimu Borger's ninth studio album, Abrahadabra, was released on September 24, 2010 in Germany, September 27, 2010 for the rest of Europe and October 12, 2010 in North America. Abrahadabra, loosely translated as I will create as I speak, was created by author Aleister Crowley in his work Liber A.L. Legis, or The Book of the Law. The album cover artwork was designed by Joaquin Luitka, who described the artwork setting as icy, bleak, wintry, and post-industrial. Luetka added that the central figure's mask on the cover is representative of H.P. Lovecraft's Elder Gods. The mask or face personifies dominion of powers far beyond mankind. The nameless gods witness the birth of our universe and they'll watch it implode. To them, the age of mankind is but a blink of an eye. Regarding this album, Silenas explained that the growing periods of time between albums was because the band had stopped writing music while touring, which was affecting the quality of the music. He described the new album as having an eerie and haunting feel to it, adding that the material is epic, primal, atmospheric and ambient. The first single from the album, Gateways, 
was released on August 20 in Europe and August 24 in North America. The song Born Treacherous was released on Demu Borger's official MySpace for streaming. On September 24 the band announced they would stream Abrahadabra in its entirety, until 7 p.m. that evening. This would mark the first official release of all the tracks on the album. The album features drummer Dari and additional keyboards by Jerlio DJERV frontwoman, Agneet K. Joel's Rod. A promotional image released with the statement showed Shag Rath returning to the keyboards. The album features an ensemble orchestra, the Kringkastens Orchestrette, the Norwegian Radio Orchestra, as well as the Skola Kant Orum Choir, totaling more than 100 musicians and singers. Gott Storaz, composer of the orchestral arrangements, released a statement on his role in working on the album. Their music is epic, thematic and symphonic already from the creation. They are clearly having an orchestral approach to composing. My role in this is sometimes just to transcribe their themes, sometimes to take their ideas, tear them apart and build them back up in ways that are true to the band's intentions. The music must also be both interesting and playable for the musicians, and hopefully, meet the quality standards of the orchestral world. The album's lyrics are a notable departure from the usual style that Demu Borger implements songs contain subjects that deal with redemption, power, rebirth, and astral planes, among other, more vague concepts. Rather than focus on ideas that are often panned as satanic and offensive, the band has instead opted to use more worldly and open matters. The start of track 6 contains a backward message, in nominee Dei Nostri Satanas Lucifery, English translation, in the name of our God, Satan the Morning Star. Track on this album are 1. Zabur, Instrumental 2. Born Treacherous 3. Gateways 4. Chess with the Abyss 5. Demu Borger 6. Ritualist 7. The Demi-Urge Molecule 8. A Jewel Traced Through Coal 9. Renewal 10. Endings and Continuations In August 2013 band announced that they are working on next album however, the production and release of the album has faced numerous delays. The gap between studio releases will be the longest ever. Despite various delays, the Oslo and Wacken Orchestra live recordings, recorded between 2011 and 2012, were released on CD, DVD and Blu-ray format on April 28, 2017 worldwide as their third live video release. On May 4, 2018, Demu released their 10th studio album, Eonian via Nuclear Blast. First single from the album Interdimensional Summit was released on February 23, 2018. The song received a mixed reception from fans due to its inclusion of folk metal elements to the music. And the second Council of Wolves and Snakes was released later. When describing the album's sound, Silena stated that the symphonic metal parts are more symphonic while the black metal sound of Demu is more black metal this time around. Eonian received mixed reviews from critics upon release. Jason Deville of Metal Injection rewarded the album with a perfect 10x10, calling it a stunning, unparalleled effort that should be heard by any lover of metal, no matter their preferred subgenre. Screaming Steel US of Metal Storm gave the album a 6.4 out of 10 stating that this is just Nightwish with Emperor Pal Patton on vocals while also finding the choirs to be irritating. Max Morin of Exclaim gave the album a 6 out of 10 citing that although frontman Shagrath has one of the most recognizable voices in metal, Demu haven't replaced the vocals of ICS Vortex, which were the highlight of their best releases. Morin believes that only on the first single, Interdimensional Summit, is where the symphonic parts of the album hit as they should. Positive review came from Doom Lawson of Metal Hammer, who gave Eonian 4 out of 5 stars noting that the songs on the album are complex and memorable. He commented that where Abrahadabra occasionally felt over-egged, Eonian is a master class in fine details and finesse. Track on this album are 1. The Unveiling 2. Interdimensional Summit 3. Etheric 4. Council of Wolves and Snakes 5. The Empyrean Phoenix 6. Lightbringer 7. I Am Sovereign 
8 archaic correspondence. 9 alpha en omega. 10 rite of passage, instrumental. So this is the history of Dimu Borger. If you enjoy videos please like share, and subscribe to the black metal promo. Long live black metal.